All right, let's get into this mailbag now. Submit your questions by using hashtag NBA or by super chatting, and uh, we will get to as many of them as we possibly can. Burner Kingdom, Chance Brunson's, Brunson leaves. So the New York Knicks during the draft, the maneuvers they made, they're clearing cap space. They traded Kimball Walker. They traded down from 11. Um, they're making a run at Brunson, maybe a Kyrie Irving. Uh, they're trying to maximize cap space. So keep an eye on them. I'll say this. Jalen Brunson will play for one of two teams the, next year. The Dallas Mavericks or the New York Knicks. It will not be another organization. Dallas drafted Jaden Hardy. Maybe that's a little insurance if Brunson does leave. Uh, but uh, I still think uh, the Mavs are the favorites to keep him. Uh, but if the Knicks offer like $30 million a year, then maybe they'll opt to not do that. Mark Jacob Duvall, uh, Mavs trade Tim Hardaway, Jalen Brunson, Frank Nilakina, Josh Green, Jaden Hardy, and a future first-round pick for Zach Levine. <sighs> I don't think I'd want to give up that much. And I like Levine a lot, but, I mean, you're giving up Tim and Brunson, who are two heavy rotation players, a future first, a guy in Jaden Hardy who is a first-round caliber player, and Frank Nilakina and Josh Green who are rotation players. So you're giving up six pieces that can at least contribute for Levine. I like Levine. That's a lot, though. Are the Mavs done making trades, or could another move be coming? I think another move is definitely possible because after trading for Christian Wood, the only real asset Dallas traded uh, was their draft pick this year, number 26 overall. They still have lots of other assets. These are some tradable pieces that Dallas has. Tim Hardaway Jr., Spencer Dinwiddie, Jalen Brunson in a sign-in trade, although I think he'll be back in Dallas. Maxi Kleba, Davis Bertans, Josh Green, a couple of first-round picks. None of those assets are incredible, but they're all movable contracts. Obviously, the future first-round picks. There's some second-round picks they could trade as well. I definitely could see another move for Dallas. They also have a trade exception of about $10.9 million. Uh, Mark Stein reports that uh, they're unlikely to use that at this point in time. It expires June 27th, but that's another asset they have if they want to make a trade using it. So we'll see what happens over the next few days, but I definitely think Dallas could still make something happen. Now, what's your favorite part of the NBA offseason? Type T for trades, type D for draft, type F for free agency. Let us know down in the comments your favorite part of the NBA offseason. The beauty is, is we cover it all here at Chat Sports. We don't leave a stone unturned. We do it all. Draft, free agency, trades, just basic news, mailbags like this one. We have videos for all of it. So be sure to subscribe. The link's right there, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Do not miss any of our NBA coverage here on Chat Sports. Rashard Lee, a sign and trade, Jalen Brunson and picks for Bradley Beal. I mean, look, Bradley Beal's a better player than Jalen Brunson. I, I wouldn't dispute that. Maybe Jalen Brunson, Dwight Powell, two future firsts uh, for Bradley Beal. Uh, do, the War do the Wizards do that? I guess maybe they would consider that. I mean, possibly. I don't think it's super likely, Richard, but hey, Bradley Beal with Luka would be a lot of fun. It really would. Now, the defense would take a hit. Not that Brunson's a great defender, but Beal doesn't defend at all. Uh, so I think you got to keep that in mind as well. Peyton Bunn, Marcus Smart to Dallas. Uh, you know, he makes $17, $18 million a year. So you think about a trade. I mean, Tim Hardaway back to Boston. But again, Boston would need a point guard in that scenario. So I, I don't think it's that likely. I'd love to have him in Dallas uh, because, uh, you know, he's a point guard that doesn't need to play on the ball. Luka Doncic would control it. Uh, he could be the uh, – two guard that plays defense. Now, I do wonder in that scenario where Jalen Brunson would fit into all of this, but uh, great defensive player, great energy guy as well. Sammy Sprinkler, if Kyrie leaves Brooklyn, should Kevin Durant request a trade? I think this is a really good question, Sammy. If I'm Kevin Durant, I'm considering all options right now. If I see that report from Shams and I'm blindsided, or if even Kyrie has come to me and been like, hey, man, it talks with the Nets aren't going great. It's possible I'm not here next year. If I'm Durant, i got to consider everything. I mean, it's just Ben Simmons, who hasn't played at all in over a year, enough of a reason to stay in Brooklyn? I don't know. I mean, Durant is still one of the top three or four players in the NBA. Had another huge year last year, averaging 29.9 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, 6.5 uh, assists as well. Shot it well from three, over 51% from the floor also. Kevin Durant is an absolute superstar still. It, it, it maybe as good as he's ever been, especially offensively. Here's the reality, though. He's 34 next year. This was his 33 age season. 
I'm not saying clock's ticking, ticking, but it's ticking a little bit. I mean, you know, he's not going to play like this forever. Now, we just saw Steph Curry win finals MVP at 34. I'm not discounting Durant doing something like that next season. But if Kyrie's gone, or even if he's there, I mean, is that the is that the wagon you want to hitch to? I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I got to wonder if Durant is regretting some of his decisions, uh, not necessarily by leaving Golden State, but by having Kyrie be his main swing man. Should Kevin Durant request a trade, especially if Kyrie's gone? Type Y for yes, type in for no. I think you got to consider everything if you are the Durantula. Let me know in the comments, should KD request a trade? Rashard Lee, got time for a couple more here. If Kyrie leaves Brooklyn, could KD come to Dallas? Um, I mean, Rashard, I'd love KD in Dallas. You know, I think he's soft, but you know what? If you could get a guy like that here with Luka Doncic, don't get me wrong, I would absolutely take it if that were the case. So we'll see what happens, you know. Again, if Kyrie does leave, I think anything should be on the table for Durant. He can't be wasting years at this point, uh, and you could argue he's wasted the last three. Veli Bazinang, why could they choose Kai Soto? Why our country is counting on him? Can he still play in the NBA? A lot of uh, coach from the NBA teams promised us, but at the end, just hard feelings. Number one, he can absolutely play still. He can still sign. I expect him to sign and play in the Summer League uh, if he wants to. If not, he can play overseas. Um, listen, Kai Soto's still a little bit raw, but there's some potential there. I know uh, you guys uh, from the Philippines uh, are big fans of him, and I understand why. Like he he he's uh, a guy that you know feel like you feel like has a chance to play in the NBA. So I hope he gets signed. I hope an NBA team gives him a chance, and let's see what he can do because he certainly has some potential as a big at seven foot two. Did you like your team's draft? Type L for like it. Type H for hate it. Let me know in the comments right now. Hit that subscribe button if you want more NBA coverage, news, rumors, trades, post-draft coverage, free agency, Q&As like this one, and a whole lot more. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Our coverage is ramping up here, so subscribe to Chat Sports. It's youtube.com slash chatsportstv. More NBA coverage to come here on this channel.